Hey friends, what's up? Koss here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket plugin spigots plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every Friday. If you have a plugin that you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be the comment section for you new people. And I will capture that, give you a shout out when I get to it. However, I am on kind of a schedule right now, uh, voted by all of you guys. And so this week is vote send. And next week is a PVP plugin. I think battle PVP. I don't, you'll see it over here. Anyway, this was originally suggested by Uncle Bob. Xhounds14 and Pixels and bits which is hilarious so anyway this was made by swifte 3146 and what this one does is it's called votes and it's made for bungee plugin or bungee servers that are running multiple servers that need to process a single vote across all of them so rather than registering each individual server uh at websites to process the votes and all that stuff this will replicate the vote to all the servers in your network so in this example, I only have two really quick and simple, and it's actually a really easy plugin. And even though you might get some errors in your console when you first load it up, it works in 1.8. I'm actually running 1.8.3 in this example. I think I'm like 20 some versions behind in it, but it still works. It'll probably still work in the newest versions. But anyway, it does require Votifier on each one of your uh, network servers, and it requires each of them to have their own port so if you're running uh, the network on a dedicated server be sure to use uh, custom ports for each one of those and then uh, it'll make sense here in a moment so let's take a look at the config file really quick before i show you guys how it works so here we are in the config file when you start it up for the first time you put vote send in your plugins folder and then it'll fire up and then it'll give you this config file, which is actually is slightly modified because I just moved it down to one server. So a couple notes on this. One, if you're running it off a server that also needs to process votes. So for me, I'm running off a server that runs Skyblock and Survival, which also processes votes. So I'm not gonna put that in this config file. Otherwise you'll get an infinite loop because vote send will see that, hey, there's a vote I need to send out. So it'll send it to the server and then the server goes, hey, I just received a vote. Here, here you go, vote send, and it just, it just keeps going. So I only have the one server which is the prison server and attached to it and then you put in your port of it so a couple notes on that as well if you're on a dedicated server like i said it needs to be a unique port and then your ip address is obviously going to be the internal ip if you're running it on a host or another server then you put the ip address of that server and then the port port of the votifier so if you're running it on a host check with them to figure out what port is available because most likely 8192 which is the default is in use and then you want to put in your public key that can be found in your rsa folder under votifier now keep in mind and i didn't say this earlier but vote send does not process or it doesn't do anything with the votes it just replicates it on just like votifier doesn't do anything with the votes it just is a listener your listener is what is going to process what it does with those votes. So each server needs to have its own listener like you would normally. This just replicates the, the, the votes to your network. So if you need an idea of how to use a listener, I have a give it anything listener tutorial that's fantastic. Go ahead and click it over here. Now the last bit of this is the custom port or custom section now the custom is you can pretty much just leave that blank and it's going to forward on the service name that the the vote came from or you can put a custom one in there if you like i would just leave it blank probably and then if you want to add servers basically you would just copy this and then hit return and then put it in there rename it to be a custom name ip address all that stuff so your servers don't have to be on the same ip address which is great and that's easy like it's so quick and simple let's go ahead and take a look at how it works all right so here we are on the server so uh first thing we're going to do is we're going to hop over to the prison server here and then we're going to go to the warp a so here we are at the a warp or a mine okay so you see i currently have one vote there Let's pop up the console here on the other screen. And what we're gonna do 
is there's really a two commands that you can do. You can do VS reload, which is going to reload the vote send, which actually didn't give me any errors. But then you can do send vote and then username. So we're going to put my username in there. And then you can put in a custom name for the, the uh, service if you'd like. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to hit send. So there we go. Now you can see that it, it processed processed the send into our prison server, which is great. We can actually go back to the lobby server and uh, it doesn't process the vote here, which is great. And that's all you have. Like I said, really quick and easy and simple. And I hope that was helpful for you. So feel free to like, comment and subscribe below. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them in the jibbles, the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. So this is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Good wave, goodbye. Goodbye to dad's followers, subscribers. Wave goodbye again. Bye. Thanks for subscribing. Yeah. <laughs> Click on my hand. Goodbye. Good job, buddy. Mm -hmm.